Hi guys, welcome to another market breakdown. So on today's video, we will be analyzing the DXY, USD, CHF, and Euro USD. So I will start with the DXY on the daily chart. And then we had like an overall ascending channel on the DXY here, or an uptrend. And then we broke the uptrend around this point here. And then so on. And then we have this low here that we will be focusing on is because the market can just reach like this area here and then try to pull back to the upside and then this would be like a double bottom a reversal pattern and then we look for those buys and then uh, what i'm currently thinking is that we can have like a continuation so we will be just focusing on this area around here so that we can get like uh, those uh, precise entries on our correlating pairs so let's move to the four hour chart and look at the four hour. So I'll just remove like this ray line around here and then just focus like on this transaction only. And then use like this ascending channel just because we are currently at the 90% rule of this ascending channel at this point around here. Let me just try and put it properly. So we just have like this price action going on. So we're just going to focus like at this point here just because we can have a slow mover around this area and then all in all it will be encompassing a descending channel to pull back to the upside so i'll just be waiting for this point here and see what happens and then let's move to the hour chart and then as you can see on the hour chart we are pretty much in a descending channel so far and then i think we can have like those uh, nice pullbacks or continuations to the downside so we're just going to be focusing at this point on this point here we can have like a push down breaking this area and then pushing back to the upside so what we will be doing on this one uh in the vip group is that we are just going to be focusing on a clear push to the downside breaking this low here very impulsively and then we can get continuations here and then that will give us like a more confirmed direction on the dxy and then if we get like a clear push to the upside and then we get like some type of continuation still we get like clear confirmations that we are going to the upside or not so let's look at the let's look at usd chf uh, let's start on the weekly chart just to set that so on the weekly chart we had like a push to the upside or a trend to the upside as you can see here we can just use like a ray line and then we had like a double top at this point we had like a larger double top and a smaller double top larger double top meaning this one here and then a smaller double top meaning this one here at this point here so i'm just going to put like my ray line like this and then move to the daily and then on the daily we had like a nice ascending channel that we were using previously as our reversal pattern at this point here and then as we cater for the current market structure we can be using like this one at the top of the structure just because it's in line with the with the mass psychology theory that we almost use all the time and then we have like a smaller double bottom on the lower time frames here you'll see it like on the lower time frames so that so we are on the trend line at the moment of which we are following the trend line as you can see we have many touches on this trend line here which means it's very strong and then another thing that we can use is that we have a double bottom within this point and then we have like a mini double bottom within there showing us that we can be looking for buying opportunities at this point so let's move to the four hour then on the four hour we are creating uh, some type of a w formation just because we have this leg here and then we're creating another leg to give us like a clear push to the upside and then on the hour chart uh there is a nice descending channel that is trying to form up just because we have some type of a descending channel at this point we have a clear push down and then a, co a corrective move in a form of an ascending and then we have like the last leg that's going to give us that touch to push to the upside so let me just do this and just show you that uh, in a clear pattern format so we have like this one here and then we have another one here and then what i like about this uh setup here is that we have like everything that we need like in a setup to give us like those uh nice percentages and then we have an ascending channel at the top of the structure like this 
so what we are expecting at the moment is that we can we have to get like people caught in the wrong side of which that will happen if we get like the third touch people will be, will be caught in the wrong side and then we look for buying opportunities from there and then we can get like entries from this point here if we get the third touch maybe a corrective move but at this point here maybe a tight flag and then we can like take buying opportunities from there so we we'll to look for those uh buys so looking at euro usd let's start on the weekly chart I'll just reset so on the weekly we had a push to the downside as you can see here you can just illustrate it using a trend line like this we had a, like a clear momentum to the downside or a trend to the downside so we are going to use like this uh trend line here so we broke that uh movement to the downside now we are trying to push to the upside and then change the trend so let's move to a daily chart so on the daily we have like um a clear momentum that is showing us that we are pushing to the upside and then we can just use like this uh reversal candlestick pattern or a pattern at this point and then we have like a low here and then we can just use like the high of the structure of which is at this point here so currently we are pushing to the upside but we have like another a scenario of which we can like get like those selling opportunities from here to here and then push back to the upside and create like a clear trend for us so at this stage we can move to the four hour and then on the four hour uh what i'm what i'm expecting at the moment is that we can get like a larger flag uh in this area here and then that larger flag can be like an expanding you get like the third touch here or an override at this point here and then we look for those uh, buying opportunities and then another scenario that i'm looking at is that we can have like a push to the downside just because we have an ascending channel at the top of the structure and then everything has to be like confirmed everything has to be confirmed and then we can like push this uh, back a bit and then we have like the 90 percent rule at this point and then on the hour chart that is where we look for those uh, nice entries let me just push this back a bit and then we can pattern separate everything within this point here like this so we have like a pattern uh, on its own at this point here and then we can have like a override at the top and then we can just remove this one here so what i'll be expecting on this uh scenario is that we can have like a push to the upside giving us an override with a double top and then we get like a clear push down and then a tight flag at this point here and then we look for those cells up until this area here just because uh, the dxy hasn't confirmed anything as of yet so we just have to wait and see uh, what happens on the dxy but if we get like uh nice entries uh, on these two pairs and then you can take like those entries even if like the dxy hasn't given us uh any trend that we can focus on okay so yeah that is it uh for today's video i'll see you on another one and i hope you take uh good entries this coming week